Hi everybody! Welcome to day five of the Ditch Your, ha Ditch Your Diet Weight Loss Challenge. You made it. You made it to day five. This is super exciting. Um, this is the fifth key to the puzzle here that is really going to help you instill these, um, these habits, these positive habits that are going to get you the weight loss and the ideal weight that you want to be at and the success that you want with your health and your nutrition without feeling restricted or like you have to diet. So um, I hope that you followed through with all of the other days. If you did not, that is okay because I can easily email them over to you. If you, if you subscribe below, you uh, got access to my workbook. And also, if you're subscribed, then you um, are going to receive the emails from me that have the previous days. So anyway, we talked a lot about the mindset, what to eat, how to create a balanced plate out of those foods, um, how to focus on portions and what to eat. And then we talked a little bit about the holistic element and how those things could be triggering you to have cravings and eat foods that are off of a plan. And the holistic things that could be contributing to that are, um, you know, sleep and stress and, you know, are you drinking enough water? Those things can contribute to your overall w weight loss success that you may not be considering. So I also wanted to note, which I noted each uh, during each video that I did, is that this challenge, this work that I do is not here to promote weight loss. This is here, I'm here to promote health and have you be at a really healthy place um, in your mind and your body. So if you feel like, you know, there is a reason why people are considered overweight or underweight, you know, there's um, guidelines that are given by doctors for a specific reason so that you can be the healthiest person that you can be. So um, we can physically be overweight and um, but we can also be in a really healthy way in a healthy place in our body and not think that way and kind of want to um, you know manipulate our weight for different reasons so either way if you are in a place where you feel like you want to um, lose weight then that is you know, I'm not promoting weight loss, I'm promoting health by doing this challenge and by doing this work. So if that is gonna help you feel a little more empowered and a little more connected um, to who you um, want to be and who you feel like you should show up in this world as, then that is what I'm promoting here. So, and I'm gonna get into a little bit more about that before I talk about what the day five challenge is, which is today I'm really excited about what this is. This is my one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite um, points that I talk about in my coaching. So, and the reason why I want you to ditch the diet is because diets are, are they can be very unrealistic. Um, they're, you know, when you're counting your food in calories, when you're obsessing about it, when you're weighing your food, when you're um, tracking macros, when you're counting your food in points, it. Or, or even when you're using like those little containers, like those little food containers or just eating certain foods or eliminating other foods, it, it messes with your mindset. It, it's not a long standing successful way to um, manage your health and your weight because you cannot always count your food in points when, or you cannot always measure out your food or weigh it. And so what I want to do and have you do is really, um, you know, experience true food freedom aside from all of those things and those fad things too. We're always seem, we seem to always be looking for the next best thing. There's more diets on the market than ever. There's more programs than ever. And we're more obese as a society than ever. So that is what is concerning to me. And what is also concerning to me, because if you know me, if you know me well enough, I also do this work with teenagers and children. And um, I, I see the, the connection between, you know, the lack of information on one end, whether it's the parent end or the child end, and then it how it translates over. So I really do this work on both ends and really want to create a system that is, is simple like I really just want to show you how 
simple and inexpensive and really delicious eating healthfully can be. So, and one more point I'm going to add before I go into what today's uh, challenge is, is that um, also I don't like diets or being on diets is, is because we, we sometimes feel like there's something innately wrong with us. Like we always need to lose weight to, 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 you know, show up a certain way or look a certain way or, or, um, be accepted by certain people. And the problem with that is, is that no matter what way you are or no matter how fit you look or no matter how thin you get for whatever situation, um, it's kind of, it's never enough. So let me ask you this. If you go back to, um, let's go, like, let's say it's your peak, right? Where you felt like you looked your fittest and your best. And you go back to that photo and you, you know, around that time frame, I'm sure you remember, like, what kind of age you were. And you, pretty much when we look at a photo, it, like, takes us right back to where we were when we were, um, what we were thinking when we were in that photo. So chances are you really never felt like it was enough. You felt like, you know, look when you looked at that picture then, or maybe you remember what you were thinking when you were in the photo, but you felt like it wasn't enough. Like, oh, like my arm kind of looks a little chunky or look at that about myself or, you know, we're just constantly beating ourselves up. But if you go back and look at that photo now, you're probably like, I was in my peak. Like, I wish I appreciated that more. And the thing is, is that's you now. Like, you are stunning. You are gorgeous. You are perfect just as you are now. And... And so there's nothing wrong with you. You do not have to uh, lose weight to look a certain way. Um, and But if that is a goal of yours, to so lose weight to feel your best, like I want you to be able to feel your best and show up as your best, that is, that is what I want to promote. So I want you to steer away from that diet mentality and that um, obsessive way of thinking about weight loss and diets and just know that when you eat really healthy whole foods you're gonna feel really good you're gonna show up differently the weight is naturally gonna come off and and so it's it's a beautiful cycle there and 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 that was that was actually me this is part of um, my story and who I was because literally I know it's so freaking sad but I was that kid I was Oh my goodness guys <laughs> I my goal is not to make you like feel sorry for me but I remember being 50 pounds I don't even know how old you are when you're 50 pounds but I was 50 pounds and I remember not wanting to weigh one more pound that was ingrained in my head so early like it was no one ever told me that I was fat but what I observed what I seen my mom do what I, how I seen her obsess over her weight mom if you're watching I love you <laughs> I, I clearly overcame all of it but um you know, that that was dangerous. And so what are we teaching us as women to our, to young girls that look up to us, whether it's children, um, whether it's neighbors, whether it's uh, family members. So, you know, I want you to really have that positive mentality about your weight and what you look like so that it can translate over into future generations. So, that is my like long winded reason behind really doing this um, challenge and and promoting this course that I have so that you can finally step outside of that I'm on a diet box in a in a I'm in I'm on a diet box. You can step out of that and I want to teach you what you can substitute that mentality with, what you can substitute that what you're eating with, how you can easily fit it into your lifestyle and your budget and your schedule and how it does not have to consume your life with you meal prepping for hours in the kitchen or spending hundreds of dollars at the grocery store. That is not what this is about. I am the queen of like being in and out of the kitchen because I do not like, I like to be creative and throw things together and eat, but I don't really necessarily like to cook and be in the kitchen for hours. Like, no thanks. <laughs> um, and, and it's funny, I actually did a presentation once about, uh, and I was doing a cooking demonstration and how I like put together recipes like and how simple they are. And I admitted to the crowd, I was like, listen, I am not a good cook. And the woman in the back who was running it, she was like, don't, like, don't say that. But I'm like, I'm not here to fool you or trick you or make you think that 
I'm like Betty Crocker in the kitchen. Like, no, I have a cookbook because I'm like, uh, this, you know, corn and tomatoes and avocado and, you know, this together and this, this made like this really delicious whole food kind of taco bowl, but it took me no time at all. And I, what I did was open a can of corn, a can of beans and like chopped a tomato. And so it's just like so simple that it's, um, they're like stunningly simple. So it, I'm no cooking involved <laughs> really. Uh, so anyway, day five is all about having your cake and eating it too, which is what today was titled because I want you to know that you can literally have your have cake at the birthday party, have whatever you want, brownie, cookie, whatever is your thing and eat it too and not feel so guilty about it. And, um, Yes, there are ways to, obviously I'm not saying go to every birthday party and every event and grab every cookie you can and eat it, like no, but when that is a craving of yours or when you really want something indulgent, then enjoy it. Whether it's pizza at the pizza party, wine on wine night, um, cake at the birthday party, whatever it is, enjoy it. And so... That is that is kind of the fi the fifth piece of this puzzle, uh, where we talk about yes, incorporate on day one whole foods. Um, two, okay, how are we constructing that plate of whole foods? Uh, three, what are the portion sizes and how are we manipulating that plate to reach our unique needs? And then four, we talked about water, hydration, and sleep. And then day five is listen. If it's out of your you know, what you consider healthy or what you're trying to follow this week or your meal plan, then that is, that is completely fine. Like that is okay because this is life that you're living. This is not life on a diet. This is not life within that box. Um, this is life that is meant to be enjoyed. And so, yes, there are ways where you can make a healthier option where there's a million and one things that you can do to, um, you know, bring something to the party, bring something to the party that you feel like you can eat instead. Um, or, or, you know, have half of something, have half of the piece of cake and then half of something else. That is totally, um, okay too. But I want you to know that if you feel like having a big ass giant piece of cake, then have it. And, it, and so within my program, I will teach you ways to not like have your cake and eat it too and not feeling like, not feel guilty about it and then not bring it into your next day at all like you had it cool you enjoyed it your body wanted it awesome let's move on that does not mean sabotage your next day and sabotage your monday and don't drink your smoothie because you feel like shit because of what you ate yesterday that is still part of that diet mentality still part of you not being enough and that is what we are eliminating so i challenge you to have a piece of cake and eat it too today have a beer have a glass of wine have chicken wings i don't care have it and eat it too know that you are you're you're allowed to have it you are um there's not something wrong with you and and having a piece of cake is not going to kill you and so um you know, I, I clearly wrote a whole cookbook on things that you can do and things that you can have instead of the cake, but it doesn't matter. You can have the cake and eat it too. So just in case you didn't know, I have this cookbook. That's me. And I have a whole section on desserts, ice cream, um, brownies, um, all that fun stuff. But anyway, further than that, because this cookbook is awesome. Like I, it is my, my baby. Like I love it. Um, but you know what? The thing is, is that there are so many people that I know that have this cookbook and it's just sitting around and I'm not calling you out if that's you, but I know, and it could be this cookbook. It could be another cookbook. It could be, um, a workout program you bought. It could be some diet thing that you bought, diet pills, whatever, but you bought it and it's sitting around. And that is unfortunate because these recipes are not gonna make themselves. Um, you're not, you know, you're not gonna um, work out without turning on the, the tape and watching it. You're not gonna be able to drink those weight loss shakes or whatever you bought from GNC without actually going through the actions and doing it and sticking to it and not going to um, Chick-fil-A in the middle of the day uh, to eat something else. So. Um, 
This program that, so I am introducing to you, I'm inviting to you to come um, and join me. I am, it is called the Ditch Your Diet Method and it is a three month long coaching program, one-on-one -on -one coaching program, me and you. And it is, it is for those people. It is only for women who are 100% ready. They're ready to swap the mindset. They're ready to instill these positive things into their lifestyle. They're ready to, you know, throughout this challenge, I told you the what, like what to do and why you should do it, but learning the how, like, all right, how the hell, like, tell me, tell me, please tell me, what am I supposed to buy from the grocery store? How am I supposed to fit it into my schedule? How am I supposed to fit it into my budget? That is what you get within the program. The program is gonna show you exactly how to do that. And I go through four main phases with, with you um, to really instill these habits. So all of this information is on my website um, where you can apply for a consult call with me to figure out if you are a right fit for this program. Because like I said, I am being very picky about who um, is really is really a good fit for this program. There's, there's limited spots available and um, so yeah, I invite you to check it out. I on my website, you can clearly see what is involved with in it and the four different phases. So um, phase one, I can briefly go through it. If um, so, if you enjoyed this challenge so far and you know you're not interested in learning any more about this, then I really appreciate you sticking around. For those of you who are interested and wanted to know more about the program, hang on, and I will go through that right now. I need to take a sip of water. <laughs> All right, so, so phase one is all about starting right where you are. Um, I'm clearly not going to, if you're someone who ha is like, you know, eating fast food multiple times a week, going to Dunkin' Donuts, getting extra cream and extra sugar in your coffee, um, I'm not gonna say, listen, like, we're gonna cut all of that out and, and then just have you start here, here, and here. That is not practical, that is not realistic. And I'm all about practicality, guys. So clearly I'm gonna start from, start you where you are to where you want to be. So it doesn't matter, um, you know, whatever that goal is. You know, let's say, you know, some people I get on the phone with and they're like, I wanna lose 50 pounds. And so I we, we break down those goals, we make sure that they're sustainable, that they're measurable, that they're realistic, that they're timely, that they're achievable, and then we create really specific goals so that you can see how this will work out and um, really take those small baby steps to where you need to go. And we create a custom plan together. It is the coolest thing. We create a custom plan so that whatever we this is not a generic thing that i'm just like putting together and saying here you go good luck no um it is a custom plan that is specifically to meet you and your needs and so you know because some foods that you could be eating could be hurting you they could be helping you you may think that they're helping you but they're really hurting you you you're you may come on the phone with me and say listen like i have been like vegan and working out X amount of days every single week and I still cannot lose weight. And that is because we are so unique and individualized, guys. Like, it's there's no wonder that one diet works for another person and then does not work for another person. Like, you are so unique down to your blood type. Like, think about it. We all have different blood types for a reason and it's cool as shit. Like, so once you figure out how your body works and what it needs to really thrive and show up, then you, you, you know, it's really cool because you get to see these really massive changes start to happen. So we create the uh, custom meal plan together. And so we also plan together the work of all of this, right? Like no one's going to do it for you. The, the planning seems to be the work for most of the clients that I work with. So we plan it all together. We literally you leave with, um, you know, the, the session, session one, you leave with your unique meal plan, custom meal plan, and your exact grocery list, that you need. So literally you print it out, you go into your Google Docs, you pull it up, and you're like, okay, this is what I need. We even go through ways to, to um, like best places to buy it at. 
and and best places like how you can save the most money and how you don't have to spend a million dollars at the grocery store doing all this so the planning we do it together you're setting up yourself for success and um and we're not extracting anything from you like i'm not having you do something extra no we're not doing that you are busy like you don't have the time for that shit like no i'm not having you do anything extra you're already going to the grocery store you're already making dinner you're already doing this like i'm here to say listen when you go to the grocery store um which takes me to phase two we go in a um virtual grocery store grocery store tour together where you're already going to the grocery store let me show you what to buy let me show you how to buy it let me show you how to read nutrition labels and and learn what ingredients mean and how they could be helping you or hurting you and um you know organic or not organic is it really important so I'm not extracting from your life. I'm I'm adding to your to your lifestyle by giving you these simplistic solutions and answers. So and then phase three, we talk about how to fit it all in, which is awesome, right? Um, you know, phase three is all about how to fit it all in, and really we're given the same 24 hours in the day. So how is it that some people are like killing it and like? Do, you know doing everything in one day and meanwhile you know some of us can barely get our shoes and socks on and make it out the door by like noon <laughs> so so you know what what is going on there and and though that's really phase three is we talk about how to fit it all in like all right how am I supposed to get these healthy foods into my diet I already don't have the time I already don't have the energy so we talk about how to really make all that happen um, and really making meal like you know i talked a little bit about these meals in minutes like you're already making dinner let's make it even simpler for you and make these meals like in minutes we and it's not about even having all of your meals prepped in the beginning of the week um if that's not your thing if you if we decide that that's what's going to work for you then that's what we do so it's very unique and very customized removing things that are not working for you and really adding in things that are going to benefit you and have you be 100% successful. And then finally, phase four is next level nutrition. So we talked a little bit about, you know, by this point, you know what to eat, you know how to fit it into your schedule, you know why your body needs it, you know, um, you know how to shop for the stuff in, you know, sh shop on a budget, how to make these meals in minutes, and now we're fine tuning it. So we're really taking like a lot of the tools that I talked about in this challenge already, you know, um, what to eat, the mindset piece, um, how to create this balanced plate, how to um, focus on portion sizes, how to manipulate these factors to get you the success that you want in your health and your weight loss. So this is really exciting guys and it's really cool when you see all these pieces come together and when you see how you can manipulate all these different um, aspects of your life to really get this body and lifestyle that you want without feeling restricted, without feeling depleted, without feeling like you're spending all of your time meal prepping and, and spending all of your money on these, on these healthy foods or fad diets and all that stuff. Like, I want to take you back to basics. I want to show you how simple it is. And I really hope that you, you know, take the reins because I cannot do it for you. I cannot literally take your mouth and, you know, take your jaw and have you chew the spinach and swallow it. But I am providing you with all the support, all the accountability, every single tool that you need in order to do it on your own so that you can kick ass and take names and show up as this person that you want to be and then then that translates over to everyone else in your lifestyle your maybe it's your daughter maybe it's your son maybe it's your neighbor maybe it's your mom maybe it's your cousin who knows but by you doing this you can show up brighter for other people and you can feel badass in your new body like weight loss is simple guys it's simple so that is about it I'm really excited I will add the link below so that you can put yourself on my schedule 
Um, it will take you right to how, you know, what, what times and dates I have available. You put yourself in and then we talk about how, um, if this is the right fit for you. Maybe it's not, no strings attached, but let's pull it up here. Um, let's pull it up. So you're gonna go to my website. It's gonna take you to the health coaching page and then the work with me link. And you know, we're gonna, it's a 30 free 30 minute consult call. And we're just gonna figure out so that you can be crystal clear on what the next plan of action needs to be for you to get get the ball rolling on all this all of this because we are at the perfect time we are 12 weeks out from you know spring just started so it's approximately 12 weeks out from summer and all the pool parties and all the beach trips and and so you can either be on top of your game or ticking yourself because you did not do this so all right, that is about it from me. Make sure to grab Snag the Workbook if you want it. I'll leave that link below. And put yourself in my calendar. Let's talk. Seriously, let's chat. All right, guys. It's been fun. Bye.